There is a lot about the Gulf of Mexico that folks who haven't ever been here couldn't even imagine. My name is Bethany Kraft. I'm with Ocean Conservancy. And this morning we are at the Five Rivers Delta Resource Center in Spanish Fort, Alabama. What we know is that even before the spill, some of our most important habitats were in decline. When the oil disaster happened, it put those critical habitats in even greater peril. The Gulf becomes a very important place as a resource for the whole country, as a, as a food basket, uh, as a food resource. Uh, it is our tropical ocean. It's our great tropical ocean. Probably the most, uh, by almost any way you measure it, the most diverse marine body we have on the North American shore. There would be no reason to live here without the Gulf. It's become critically important to understand what's happening at the local level and how people are using resources. Um, so for example, going out with folks like charter boat captains, um, going out into the estuaries, talking to the people who go out there on a regular basis um, informs our work. I know when I was a kid, we used to we'd go crabbing and you could catch a whole ice chest of, of blue crabs as big as a dinner plate. And now, you know, if you catch one that's four or five inches across, you've got a big one, you know. And, um, it's just a lot of a lot of changes as, as I've grown older. When when this area was threatened, when these estuaries were threatened, it sort of made everybody think it's like this this thing that we all agree on, this thing that we can all sit down and and eat around. <laughs> we weren't going to have it anymore. This thing that sort of held us together as a community, uh, and that was really really scary. It was a thought about losing the very community that, that had been built around these marshes and this gulf. It's time to change. We've got to do something different. I got involved with Ocean Conservancy at a council meeting a couple of years ago when I stood up and asked the Gulf Council to take care of the fish because if you take care of these fish, the fishermen will be able to take care of themselves. You know, I want to see a restored gulf and I want to make sure that oil industry doesn't have any more accidents or incidents to where they harm this pristine environment. I grew up on the Gulf of Mexico and it was pretty much the worst day of my life when I realized that this oil was going to come to shore. Uh, I think that luckily our worst, worst fears weren't realized. We've come to recognize that this is a wake-up call for the Gulf of Mexico. We recognize how vitally important it is to our lives now in a way that we might not have before. There are things that we can do to make us more resilient so that we can grow back even better, and even healthier, and even stronger than we were before. And our natural resources play an incredibly important role in that growth.